Congratulations, third win of the season. But I think it's probably fair to say that is your most important win, not just of this season, but maybe of several. Yeah, possibly my most important win, definitely. I mean, you know, it's, it's just such a nice feeling because I was so cautious, I guess, coming into this weekend about, I, don't, I didn't think the car was going to be as where we needed it to be pace-wise. You know, in the past, it's not necessarily been a race-winning car, but we've come here, we stuck on the front row, a second and now a win. And I'm just super, super proud of everyone. You know, they've done such a fantastic job. And uh, yeah, Craig continues to send that support from his hospital bed, bless him. So, you know, all these little things, we're such a team here at West Surrey Racing and that's what's important. A classy win and a really classy driver, clever driver as well. That was a really amazing move you pulled to, to get the lead. Just tell us about that one. Yeah, both of them were good, you know. I mean, um, Flash just left half a door and that was enough, you know. I managed to get up the inside. He put me on the grass on the inside a little bit on the exit, but I'm already there at that point, you know. And the move with Rory, totally fair, not a single touch, you know. Um, really, I really love racing Rory, you know. He, he's always been good to me and, and vice versa. And yeah, that nice little cutback move filled me with joy. Well done, congratulations, great win. Let's bring in uh, Rory discussing that race with uh, with his brother-in-law. And in fact, it was it was your brother-in-law giving you all the pressure that time round, wasn't it? It was, Louise. Uh... To be honest, he's probably the guy I fear the most because I know how <laughs> he's, a, he's a hard racer, you know what I mean? And um, we're, we're mates, we're, we're family, um, and we race hard together. And, and actually, it was, it was good fun. Jake just had a bit, a bit more pace, and he did a really nice switch back on me. And uh, I just decided, right, you, you've got this. And, and it was a case of just trying to fend for myself and, and bring her home. He did a really nice restart as well, didn't he? He absolutely executed yeah. it to his best advantage. I think his strengths were in the slow speed and especially coming off the corner. So uh, when he went, he went before Brooklands and I think that was a smart thing for him to do. Um, because I'm, I'm a bit quicker for turn one, he's quicker for the final sector. So, yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a smart little fox, isn't he? <laughs> he is, isn't he, just? And a smart older fox as well. I mean, I'm funny, I'm loving seeing you two guys laughing because I'm thinking, whoa, this could be spies between the family. It was a little bit close at times, but, you know, I think both cars a little bit stronger in different areas and I would have had to have moved them out of the way, I think, and then you're playing a dangerous game. So, you know, I'm happy, you know, we're making progress as the day goes on. Uh, you know, another podium's great, so hopefully we can just score a, score a bunch more points in race three. I mean, you are, you know, the guy who's been going forward all day long. You've really, I know you had issues with the car yesterday, but you've totally got it sorted today, it seems. Uh, yeah, there's a few still little niggles on the, on the electronic side of things, but we're working hard at that. If we can just get if, if we can get all the ducks lined up in a row, we'll be okay. But you know, I've got to say, looking out the rearview mirror, there was a lot going on in that race as well. So I think I'll uh, I'll take my podium and we'll move on.